Hello everyone, welcome to day 19 the August Lead Code Challenge and today's question is Maximum product or splitted binary tree? In this question, we are given a binary tree and we need to find out the maximum products that can be generated by splitting the, this tree at one possible end. And uh, how will you calculate uh, the product? It would be equal to the sum of the left subtree that you are splitting into the sum of the right subtree that you are splitting. Without much ado, let's look at the presentation that I have created for this and I'll be explaining the question as well as the algorithm there itself. Maximum possible product or splitted binary tree. Lead code 1339. Let's take the same example that was specified in the question. We have a binary tree 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And let's hypothetically assume that we are making a split at this particular edge. So what is the product if you make a split at this particular edge? What One half of the tree is this one and the other half of the tree is this one. So what is the total sum of this part of the tree? It is 6. What is the total sum of this part of the tree? 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. So the product becomes 15 into 6 which is 90. So one possibility is 90. Let me just erase it. I think this 90 will go away. Let's store it somewhere. We have 90. Let's hypothetically assume we are making a split at this particular edge. What is the sum of uh, this subtree? Uh, sum of this subtree is 9. Sum of this part of the tree is 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 5 is 12. So this is 12 and 12 into 9 is 108. So the other possibility is 108. So this is higher than the previous possibility. So we got a better product as 108. Let's try more possibilities and let's try and break the tree at this particular edge. What is the sum of its uh, right tree it is 1 plus 3 plus 6 is 10 what is the sum of its left part of the tree it is 4 plus 2 plus 5 it's 11 so 11 into 10 is 110 which is greater than 108 so the max product becomes 108 so far and let's try for the other possibilities as well let me just erase it let's break the tree at this particular edge what is the sum of this part, this part of the tree? 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 5 is 8, 8 plus 6 is 14, 14 plus 3 is 17. So this is 17, this is 4, 17 into 4 is 56. It's pretty small, let's ignore it. Let's break the tree at this particular edge. Uh, what is the sum of this part of the tree? So 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 plus 6 is 16. 16 into 5 gives us 80, which is again lower than 110. So the maximum possible product that can be generated in this complete tree is 110. And where are you splitting the tree? You are splitting the tree at this particular edge. I hope you got the context. Now let's talk about how can we actually build the algorithm. So let me just clear this up and please note that the maximum possible product is 110. Let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is to count the total sum that is there in this complete tree. What is the total sum? 6 plus 3, 9, 9 plus 1, 10, 10 plus 2, 12, 12 plus 5 is uh, 17 17 plus 4 is 21 so the total sum of this tree is 21 and what am I gonna do next I will try to calculate the sum of each subtree so let's try and calculate the sum of each subtree this is one subtree so the sum of this subtree is 4 sum of this subtree ending starting at 2 is 4 plus uh, 4 plus 2 plus 5 which is 11 so the sum is 11 what is the sum of this subtree? The sum of this subtree is 5. The sum of this tree is 21. We have already calculated it. The sum of this subtree, including both these elements, is 9. 
and the sum of this subtree is 6. We will be using this information to find out the maximum possible product. And how will we do that? Let's assume we are making a break at this particular edge. So one part of the tree will hold the sum as 4. The other part of the tree will hold the sum 21 minus 4, which is 17. So you got one possibility of the product. Let's assume we are breaking the tree at this particular edge. So the sum of this subtree is 11. What is the remaining sum of the other part of the tree is 21 minus 11, which is 10. So you got the other part of the uh, tree sum as 10. This product is higher than the previously calculated product 17 into 4 uh, is lower than 10 into 11. Therefore, uh, the max product value gets updated to 110 and we will do it across all the possibilities. So let's assume we are making the cut at this particular edge. The sum of one ha half of the tree is 5. The other half of the tree is 21 minus 5, which is 16. So the possibility for this splitting product is 16 into 5, 80. 80 is lower than 110 we will not update the max product value. Let's do it for the other possibilities as well. Let's assume we are making a break at this particular edge. What is the sum of its left uh, part of the tree? One, one half of the tree is nine. The other would be 21 minus nine, which is 12. So 12 into nine is 108, which is lower than 110. Therefore, we'll ignore it. The other possibility is we are breaking the tree at this particular edge one half of the tree has the sum as 6 the other half of the tree will have a sum 21 minus 6 which is 15 15 into 6 is 90 you will ignore this value because it is lower than 110 as we iterated through all the possibilities the maximum product that was generated in the system is 110 and that becomes our answer now let's talk about the coding section how will we actually code it up will exactly follow the same steps as I have told here. The first thing that I've done is to define two variables, the total sum variable that exists in the binary tree. The other variable is a max product variable that will help me calculate my max possible product in this tree. As a first step, I have invoked my DFS method on the root so as to calculate the total sum that exists in the tree. This is a pretty straightforward method. It is basically iterating the tree in a, a post-order traversal fashion. First the children and then the root and calculating the total sum. You can use any other traversal for updating the total sum variable. And once I have calculated the total sum, I calculate the possible sum of all subtrees that are there in the binary tree. And let's talk about this method. So it is also iterating in a post-order fashion. It first calculates the total sum uh, of the subtree starting with the its left root, left child, then its right child, and then calculate the total uh, subtree sum for the current root, which is equal to left plus right plus root dot value. And once I have that this value with me, the total sum of the tree starting at the root, I will calculate the possible product that would be equal to subtree sum into total sum minus subtree sum. So this gives me one possibility of the product. And as I iterate through all possibilities of subtrees, my, this variable will automatically be, will be chosen to the maximum possible va value. And in the end, I simply return this subtree sum so as to process the other iterations. Uh, let me just submit this. Accepted. Once I have, I am done with this iteration, um, my maximum product variable will be updated and I have performed a modulus of 10 raised to the power 9 plus 7 as specified in the question. I hope you got the context and enjoyed today's session. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. See you tomorrow with another fresh question. Till then, goodbye.